the fuel matrix, the lower mid-range narcissist. Understanding the fuel matrix for the relevant school of narcissist with appropriate adjustments relevant to the cadre allows you to understand how a particular narcissist is likely to respond to your imposition of no contact, dependent on how you fit into that matrix. It also allows you to understand what other competing interests you can expect within this fuel matrix and how the narcissist is likely to interact with these other sources. We now move on to the mid-range narcissists who are characterized by a reasonable level of cognitive function, extensive passive-aggressive behaviors, pity plays, seeking sympathy, a degree of charm, some calculation, but also in common with the lesser, no awareness or insight as to what they are. First of all, we begin with the lower mid-range narcissist. The lower mid-range narcissist is of reasonable cognitive function. He has no awareness as to what he is. Whilst passive aggressive features are the forte of the mid range narcissists as a whole, as a lower mid range narcissist, he does gravitate towards the aggression exhibited by the lesser narcissists. This means that when there is an ignition of fury, the relevant victim may well experience the manifestation of physical violence. There is not the blunt fury of the lesser, but the risk of being punched or kicked by the lower mid range narcissist remains. This type of narcissist, when heated fury is ignited, will respond at times by throttling the victim. There are potential substance abuse issues evident with the lower mid-range narcissist also. He or she will work and have a reasonable job, albeit it is unremarkable. The lower mid-range narcissist relies heavily on people feeling sorry for him or her. This arises either through the manifestation of cold fury, through silent treatments et al, or having a temper tantrum as heated fury is exhibited. Unlike those of the lesser school who will erupt in a volcanic fashion, or those of the greater school who will erupt with a frenzied malice, a calculated application of antipathy which will hurt his or her victim, the lower mid-range narcissist is petulant. Of all the schools of narcissism and their divisions, the lower mid-range narcissist is most likely to become the incredible sulk. I refer you to that video for more information in that regard. He has a fairly low threshold of control on his fury and can either erupt with heated or cold fury and pretty much does so in equal measure, something which is different from the other divisions of schools. The lower mid-range narcissist has a small fuel matrix. He has little charm, if any, he will have limited financial power and relies most of all on people feeling sorry for him and wanting to help him. The lower mid-range narcissist who is also of the victim cadre is a pathetic creature indeed. In terms of the fuel matrix, the lower mid-range narcissist fuel network is as follows. A. The primary source will usually be intimate in nature. There may be occasions where the lower mid-range narcissist will skulk back to his or her parents and place them as primary source. But most of the time, the primary source will be intimate in nature and is often someone who is a carrier empath in order to put up with the fairly low energy level of the low of the lesser mid-range narcissist and his or her propensity to sulk. The primary source is expected to work and run the house and will be denied much opportunity to socialise as the lower mid-range narcissist will not want that person being away from them. B. There will be numerous familial secondary sources. Unlike the lower lesser or middle lesser, the lower mid-range narcissist is able to maintain a reasonably good relationships with his family because he seeks pity and sympathy more than fear and hurt. They will regard him as moody, but will put up with it, meaning he is able to rely on these secondary sources to some considerable degree. This is necessary because of my next point. C. 
the social secondary sources of the lower mid-range narcissist will be limited. Lacking charm and generally regarded as sulky, self-centered and something of a mardi arse, the lower mid-range narcissist struggles with creating a significant social secondary source circle. He will have a small number, three or four, inner circle friends with whom he will do most things. D. The lower mid-range narcissist usually works and therefore will have colleague secondary sources. He will not be held in high regard by them, but nevertheless, his less volcanic nature means that he will have numerous of these colleague secondary sources dependent on the size of the organisation that he works for. E. The lower mid-range narcissist will have an intimate partner secondary source when the intimate partner primary source is being devalued. It is unusual for him to have more than one, and it is often the case that the intimate partner secondary source will not be recruited from a social setting, but usually recruited through work. F. In terms of tertiary sources, the lower mid-range narcissist will engage with a reasonable number of these sources as he works. He will be out and about in terms of shopping, etc., and his interactions will largely be benign in nature unless he perceives a criticism. And then he will readily erupt in order to draw negative fuel from the offending tertiary source.